11 problems all women who own a vibrator understand having a vibrator by your bedside is awesome. These buzzers help you power through dry spells and add a little something something when you're getting down with your partner. And while getting buzzed is the bomb, relying on a toy to get you off can come with a few issues like, um, batteries. Since we've been there, we're calling out all of the situations every proud vibrator owner has encountered, or will encounter, at some point. 1. Buying your first vibrator is scary AF. Whether you went to Spencer's with your friends when you were 17 or threw down major cash on a fancy vibe online, buying a sex toy is a major rush and de-terrifying. Will the cashier judge me? Is a hot pink sex toy worth $150? Obviously, both of these are risks worth taking. 2. Praying that your model really is waterproof. Rub-a-dub dubbing in the tub is all fun and games until your water-resistant device drowns down below. 3. When your friend comes over, and your vibrator is not in its hiding place. Who doesn't love getting off in their living room? But when you realize the evidence of your last trip to O-Town is sitting on your bookshelf, things can get awkward. Should you make a joke? Did she notice it? Maybe you should just play it cool and hopefully she won't pay attention to the giant penis-shaped gadget in plain sight. 4. Your vibrator dies mid-self-love sesh. You're so close to hitting the big O, and then your battery dies. What are you supposed to do now? Use your actual hands? Game over. 5. Your gadget is way more fun to sleep with than that guy you're hooking up with. He just doesn't get you like your buzz buddy does. Though you might wonder whether your vibrator made you less sensitive down there, we're going to bet that he's just bad in bed. 6. When you can't pick a freaking setting. Buzz, 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 or buzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz